Hey everyone, Casa Verde here. So I know it's been a while. I'm sorry about that. I had some family stuff I had to deal with, a whole bunch of parties, and man, that takes up a lot of time, let me tell you. <laughs> it takes up a lot of time. But I'm back, and we have a new update that I want to talk about today. This is a pretty good one. It adds some features that were already promised, but you know, these things take time, and Analog is not really known for sticking to their schedule as we already are past the September deadline. So, but I'll talk about the update, then we'll bring it back here and I'll show it to you. I'm gonna showcase a few different, several games just to see how this uh, screenshots and all these things look. But we'll get into that in a second. And a couple of things that have changed in between the last couple of weeks since I've been gone. I try to get, I got one of the adapters. I'll, I don't know when it'll come. I did the pre-order just like everybody else. And as long as it's super NT, so that's also exciting. I can't wait to try that out. That'll be amazing. But first, without further ado, please leave a like, subscribe. That way I'll continue doing this stuff. Please give me that good feedback, any suggestions, drop in the comments, and let's get into the video. All right, everyone, so here we are. We're on the Analog website. So let's check out the updates that were just released. So from here, it's pretty straightforward. You go to support, click on pocket, and from here, you can see the latest version, which was released today, November 5th. So let's just hit the view release. So there are some interesting stuff to note for this release. Now, if you look at the release notes, you'll see here, the OS, the added screenshots to the memory, to the memories, which is pretty big. So that's something that they've been, you know, talking about for a while. So it'd be cool to check this out. They added thumbnails to the memories to the save states. Also pretty cool. I want to see that working. So I'll be bringing... Uh, some GBA games and uh, just checking out, see how it works. Some GB, so you know, Game Boy games, Game of Color games. I'll bring an assortment of games just to see how these memories work and how it looks. Uh, let's see the fix button mapping for unmapped keys. That's cool. That's a good fix for open FPGA. So you'll see this on stuff like uh, the GBA cores or any of the other cores that did not have unmapping keys. Now you have some uh, APF. Uh, fix it as well. It's add, added APF host command. So you got you added APF target command. So to add some uh, APF stuff is here as you can tell. Added chip 32 instruction get time. Uh, they've added a host of stuff as well. A little bit further down here for the people who have docs. I am still personally waiting for my doc. Hopefully I will get it sooner than later, but we will see. Um, here they've added keyboard and mouse support via USB. This is pretty big. Um, Damn, I wish I could check that out. If anybody out there who's watching, please let me know how this uh, keyboard and mouse support looks. Very interesting to see how that looks. Ah, uh, they fixed the Switch Pro reconnect issues. This is very good. I know those issues there. Uh, improved dock controller uh, connection speed. Improved Xbox Series X or S controllers. And they improved dock USB performance. So all good stuff. Whenever I get my dock, I'm going to show everybody how it works with all this uh, other items as well i have a few controllers i have the xbox series x controller the pro controller the switch pro controller i got all types of controllers so it'll, it'll be cool just to be able to check this stuff out and you know it's very simple to do these updates you just download it here and you just go through it as well or you can use the automatic updater too so whichever floats your boat and how you want to do these updates i might just see how it works with the uh, core updater and check out any other cores that happen and I'll do another video on the cores as well. So let's transition over to the pocket. That way you all you guys can see it there. Okay, let's go there now. All right, so we're back. Here we are. Let's just get right into it. So after you do the initial update, what you'll then do is, let's just quit the cartridge. You'll see everything in the memory section. Now, this will be new. You'll see memories. All those moments will be lost in time like tears in the rain. And you'll have screenshots here. So I already tested this out. I just wanted to make sure it worked. Here's one that I did. This one's of crystal clear. So you can see. And sleeve states. Now you also have a little screenshot along with it. So what I want to do is I want to, as you can tell, these are all the old ones. What I want to do is just test this out with various games. Just see how it works. You know, first, um, let's try this in the, let's do a simple game. Let's just do Pokemon Red. Which, uh, which one of the games, that might be one of the games. No, not Pokemon Red. 
but I am testing out Pokemon Green. I just want to see how it works with different regions, see how it looks. So let's just try it out. Let's see. Okay. So let's go to memories. And there you go. You'll see it right there. It's pretty cool. Now, one thing to note, you'll have a save states for the cartridges and save states for open FPGA. But it looks like the screenshots will all be there. Now to do the screenshots, you gotta press the analog and the start at the same time. So there you go. That's how you do screenshots. So there you go. You can check it out here and uh, it doesn't really give you more information. You can go through them all. So I wish what you could do is, I wish you could like make it full screen, but let's, let's see if I quit everything. Now I won't be able to test out the dock features since I don't have that. Six date. No, I can't get any bigger. Nah. Looks like that's about it. So this is how big as you can see it. Too bad. I was hoping you can see it bigger than that. But you could probably offload them too, which is, which is pretty cool. So, all right, we test the first test. Now let's just bring out some games and test it that way. So we'll start in age order. We will do some Game Boy games and then we'll go to Game Boy Color and then Game Boy Advance. I don't have any of the adapters. It takes forever for them to arrive, so so we'll stick to what the analog can do base with no adapters. So here we go. This is going to be Pokemon Green. So as an official cartridge, you should get some type of little, little information here. Let's see. Oh, it gave me an error. Okay, I might have to clean it. I haven't used it in a little bit. So let me see if I can clean it real quick. Okay, here we are. So I just cleaned it real quick. Let's play cartridge. And there you go. Look, as you can see, it gives you some information on it. Uh, Pokemon Monsters, Midori, I think that's how you say it. It's pretty much Pokemon Green version. Uh, it doesn't give you any more details than that. From what I understand, this will be filled out in a future update. But right now, this is how it looks. It's better than nothing. So let's just start it up. Pull up the volume a little bit. It's all Japanese, nothing English here. They have an English patch if you want to try the ROM version. So that's also something to test out. Let's save. Okay. Let's do a save state while we're at it. There. Uh huh. That's giving me issues now. It's supposed to be. Well, here's the game. I don't know why I won't do the save the save feature now. Interesting. Let's try more right again. Do screenshot there. Should be simple as start and the analog button. Oh, no, not that is too soon. Huh. So let's save that state. The screenshot, sorry. So, oh look, a little bit of glitch out there too. Oh, well, these aren't old games, so I'm not surprised. Ah, I did, they glitched out on me. Take it out real quick. Okay, let's try it again. Wonder if, interesting. I wonder if that's strictly for the screenshots are strictly for the open FPGA stuff. God, look how right on used to look. Okay, there we go. So I did do it. I don't know why it was giving me issues before. Uh, let's check out screenshots. There it is. Oh, look. I ironically did both. That's so interesting. That's so funny. So I did Pokemon Green. I also did Ride On, and I did Pokemon Red Ride On. They look totally different. Look at that. All right. So that one worked. They all look different. It's cool to play the Japanese one because they got different artwork for it. Even Squirtle looks different. It's awesome. 
I always highly recommend playing a, an original of the ROM hacks for the Japanese version. You'll get more out of it. So game details. And there's just that basic stuff. Save state. So now it's cool. You get the screenshots there. Uh, should be, yeah, same sound. <laughs> okay. So let's go and move on to the next one. I'll give you a little bit of hiccups here and there, but uh, let's see how next one I'm testing out is going to be Donkey Kong. So let's try this out. Okay. I think I pressed press start by accident. Let's try now. Always got it, man. Let me clean all these things real quick. All right, here we are. Let me Donkey Kong. So here we go. Donkey Kong Country gives a little bit of information, and then let's just try it out. Classic Donkey Kong startup. Let's try the safe state. Sorry, the uh, screenshot. Let's go to a better spot to do it. There we go. Not bad. Okay, that was much smoother. I don't know what the issue was with the other one. Okay, interesting. So that's a little bit difficult to get it both press at the same exact time. Let's check everything out. No. Memories, save state, there you go. The little screenshot does make it pretty cool. Better than having nothing there. They're rolling out these updates very slowly, but they look, they seem to be very stable. They don't have too many issues. It's so cool. I'm sure these can be ported over. I'll, I'll verify that and I'll throw that in the comments below uh, if it's portable. I mean, if, if it can be ported out of the SD card, which I'm pretty sure it could. All right. Cool, let's go on to the next. I got another game with color game just, just for old times to try out. Got a perfect dark here. I used to love playing this one when I was a kid. The Rumble Pack works. Man, all these things. I don't miss having to clean all these, let me tell you. These are a lot of fun to clean. Okay, start it up. There you go, perfect dark. Nice little screenshot right there. Another rare software. Actually, I didn't even realize I did that. But I got two rares. <laughs> Both uh, Donkey Kong and Perfect Dark. Screenshot works fine. I must have done something wrong with green, but safe state works. All the screenshots work. It's awesome. Cool. Now, Let's move on to Game Boy Advance. Now, obviously, as I already showed before, uh, the ROM hacks and the single-use flashcards work just fine, too. It's the first one that I tested out. Here we have Kingdom Hearts here. One of my personal favorites for Game Boy Advance. Oh, man, I always got to clean these things. If you don't play them in a while, at least the cartridges, you gotta at least clean them once in a while. Man. There we go. Man, I really love this in the preview. I guess this would be good too if you wanna add your own screen little previews there. You could probably change it yourself if you know how, but at least this way you'll be able to get the image properly. Let's go. Yeah, good old theme song right there. Let's uh, let's see. I think there was already. Uh, that might be another game. I don't want to save it. Let's, let's just do start, load. Yeah, this is the exact same game that I that I beat because there's both save files. Because after you beat it once, you get to play as Riku. Man. Brings back a lot of memories. Holy crap. All right, let's do a save state. And let's do a screenshot. Let's check out that screenshot. Nice, okay. Save state. Cool. And I just wanna play this game again. <laughs> so 
great game if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. They have this on the PS2 as well. Obviously looks a little better there than it does here. But this is a great way to play too. A lot of fun, good times. Okay, let's start another game. We're gonna do one last Game Boy Advance game. Hopefully this one doesn't need to be clean. So far they've all had to be clean. And then we'll go to an EverDrive just to just to see how this works with, an EverDrive doesn't hurt. I got Mok Tai, the sun is in your hand. Let's see if this has to be clean too. They all have to be clean apparently. That's one thing I'll mention. Yep, look, it has to be clean too. The uh, analog pocket is very sensitive when it comes to, um, anything not being clean. There you go. Okay, apparently it could be cleaned a little bit more. Let me try cleaning it a little bit better. All right, let's try again. There you go. Nami, let's screenshot that. Okay, that worked. All right, let's see. Memories, yep, there it is. Looks, looks good. Now, one thing to next to really check out is gonna be the EverDrive. Now, this would be cool to check out. I wanna see how Flash, oh, not, flash cart works. I wonder what it does, what it picks up as. Let's see, if I just try and do a screenshot right now. Okay, it did a screenshot, very interesting, let's see. Okay, it just says cartridge, Game Boy Advance. I like the other ones that actually said the name. Same thing for the, for the ROM hack, single flash cartridge, see? Now, thing about the EverDrive is that when you run it, it is supposed to act like the original. So let's just run Advance Wars and let's do a screenshot. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so we save the screenshot. Let's check it out. Nope, still picking it up as cartridge. Interesting. Doesn't pick it up, doesn't pick it up as Advance Wars. Very interesting. Maybe it picks it up as a not authentic game. That's why it just says cartridge. All right. That's good to know. Let's see how this one works. All right, we did the screenshot. Let's load the volume so I don't get hit with any copyright stuff. Uh, let's check it out here. Again, it just says cartridge, but it's pretty cool. I can't complain. You know what, this is actually curious. Let's do a safe state just for the hell of it. See what happens. I'm gonna play all the volume. Let's load it. Oh, look at that. It's, a, it's pretty cool. You can just go back to that. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll have another video coming out today talking about some updates for some cores. That way everybody can, you know, just have fun with it. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.